my name is James from Tech MNO and finally the iPad OS 13.4 update is already here and I already installed it on my iPad mini 5 and the most talked about feature has been highlighted is the new trackpad and mouse support so we will go ahead and see if this mouse especially a wired mouse it will work on this mini iPad so let's go ahead and see and check it out for ourselves So just giving a heads up, this is the iPad mini 5. I already installed the new iPad OS 13.4 a while ago. So just to give you, uh, so I'll just uh, put it on the video right here. Is that says iPad OS 13.4. Okay. So the so the biggest feature for the iPad OS 13.4 is they have a mouse and trackpad support. So right now, uh, what I have here is I have a wired mouse and I don't, I don't have yet a, a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth keyboard and uh, it's uh, it's wired. So we will see if we will work this on uh, iPads with lightning connection because uh, you already see some YouTube videos with iPad Pro. Of course, they have a USB Type-C. So just here, I have a uh, lightning to USB camera kit and then we will see if it's working so let's go ahead and check so uh, we will have here the uh, recorded screen right over here oh we'll just uh, just, uh there okay so we'll just put first the usb to the lightning adapter or sorry the lightning kit so uh, we will proceed Okay, so I'll just put it, uh, put it here on the iPad itself. Okay, so uh, the uh, mouse is already connected and you will see that it's already been lighted. There's already a red light, meaning it's working. And I will just put it here on the video. And as you may see, the mouse is working. Okay. So you see, the icon have a parallax effect. You see, like the, the going side. Yeah. Okay. So here, seeing the control center is working also. Yeah, just uh, having long press with the mouse. Okay. So you see first. I'll just go down the camera. All right. So you see here. So as you may see, that is working. Yeah. There. Uh, so the brightness settings working yes okay so actually you can you can change the opacity or the size of the the mouse the mouse pointer okay so you can see here there's already a new tab on the settings there's a track pad and mouse so you can change the tracking speed and the secondary click so see so what i tried to do here is that if you if you want to see your dock you just here just go with place it here and the dock is already there so if we want to go back home you just just go ahead and just scroll it down just hover your mouse to the lower part of the screen so i did we we'll see here just down again and it's already at home so yeah we will see again the uh, right click here if it's working there so there's a bluetooth wi-fi battery and the edit home screen so if we want to go with the notification setter just uh, just the same just put here and then you can also try to uh, get the yeah for example here so there is your see see here and that is your notification center so just go back and then you can actually use the lift here 
and just click it away. Okay, so as I see here, there's a pointer control. So if you want to increase contrast, you can see here. And the color is more contrast. Okay, and also if you want to have some color, so you have white, you have blue, you have red, you have green, you have yellow, and orange. So if you want to up you you want to put this bigger stroke size just uh, see here and you see here so we just uh put here as a red okay so you see see here but if we want to get a little smaller there so we will just put first uh, so as you have an idea we we'll just put here uh red all right so as you see the uh, the pointer goes there okay see and also there Oops. so as i said earlier there will be an uh if you want to have any uh if you want to have more controls on the mouse as you see here oops just go to assistive touch and as you may see it's already been recognized as an optical mouse so use the optical mouse and as i uh, already put the uh, the the, the trackpad oh, sorry the uh i already put the uh, mouse roller here as a button three so if you press here And see, you just go home. So we'll just go back first. Okay. Right, so actually, you can uh, put your pointer size as much as you want if you want bigger. You see here. Okay, so just bigger. And as you may see in the video, um, there is a dot on the middle so we just go from here actually you can hide the pointer for about two seconds if you don't use your mouse or so the pointer will automatically hide so we'll see oh sorry And the pointer is already gone so it will gone if it will hide if you will not use the pointers and uh, it will go back if you of course you will use the pointers okay here so if you uh as we see there's a pointer animation because it's already been activated but if you don't want you just turn it off and you will see it's it the pointer will still be there okay so i just like put it here Plus animations okay okay so right so we will try to use any other applications uh we will use the pointer for example we would just have here uh we just go on, uh, on the files app here and uh, we will see what it's trying to here it's quite easy to uh, put this have this one split screen mode and uh, we will try to yeah right. so that is the slide over so you can drag here like this okay. 
So the problem uh, for mouse support is that there is some. Uh, it's harder to use it if you want to remove the. Uh, you want to hide the, uh, the slide over app. So let's try to have other Apple just here. So we will try use Twitter here. So swiping app is a little bit easy, but if you want to yeah. if uh, you want to close it, it's hard to use it. So you just swipe there. But as uh, you know, it will work for some uh, trackpads, for example, the Magic Key, key uh, the Magic Trackpad too. Sorry, and it will be easy. So just try. But the, it's hard to hit. Uh, try. It's hard to hide the uh, the slide over app. But it's easy to uh, show it again. So for example, here side. Just drag it all the way on the left side and you will see your slide over apps. Alright. So we will just uh, close it here. So closing apps there. And close. Okay, so that's about it for our uh, hands-on for the new mouse pointer for the uh, iPad OS 13.4. So, uh, I already we already uh, tried the wired mouse here, and it's working. So, if there, I will be having some uh, Bluetooth uh, mouse. I will have a new video there. But as of now, it's working on working on wired mouse support. Okay, or if you have a trackpad or magic trackpad to it will also work so if you and if you have any questions and suggestions you can uh, drop it down here on the bottom section below and again my name is james thank you so much for watching and catch you in the next one